Hi, Rumians. I'm Drushnik. Thank you for being here and welcome back to another episode of The Lion's Roar in our Crusader Kings 3 series. If you're still here, still watching, still enjoying, thank you for being here. I hope that you continue to watch and enjoy, of course. And uh, if you're not here anymore, then you don't hear this, so it's... Uh, <laughs> I can stop talking about that. So I did promise to uh, to zoom out every two episodes at the very least and look at the, the state of the world as we know it, of course. This is not the whole world, but you know that too. So, Druznik, stop rambling. Uh, what do we see here? Byzantine Empire, nothing too interesting, except that they are now here as well. But is that very interesting? No, no, no. Syracuse, eh. Uh, there's a big, big duchy of Spoleto. West Francia is here as well as, uh, so <laughs> as part of uh, northern Italy and uh, and part of France. There is uh, an independent duchess of Savoy, interestingly. I don't know how for how long she'll be independent, but she does have 1,347 troops, so she's not really bad. East Francia is uh, very, very splintered. And now part of a little seven-year-old king who's a bleeder. So I don't think East Francia is going to live much longer. Bavaria, though, look at that. Has become a much, much, much smaller. King Ludwig III the Younger of Bavaria. So this Carling still has 2,000 troops. I think he's going to do something to East Francia soon. Lotharingia is like a... <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to compare it to a certain organ, but let's not do it. Um, pathetic. Just absolutely pathetic. Short-lived from now on, I think. And uh, then there's this little corner of our world here. Now, I've been thinking about um, vassalizing myself under King Louis the Stammerer. The thing is this. If I do this, I can become a duke with no problem. But I can't become King of Frisia because he's the king. So if I would want to create the kingdom of Frisia... I would then have to become independent again of West Francia, which would be a pain. So it's, um, I guess it's a trade-off. On the one hand, it would give me safety and security against the uh, bar barbarians, the Vikings. On the other hand, it brings with it new challenges. Now, the thing is, if I stay independent, the, the question is, will I be able to survive? I don't know. And it might be worth growing as a duke under the king of West Francia over here to just secure my hold on these lands, then become independent, because West Francia is going to fall apart again at some point, then become independent and become the king of Frisia. That might be the way to go. I'm not sure. Let's unpin this dead dude. So, I think this is, uh, this is the time to um, declare war. He's got 851 troops, and I think that we can take Hib's levies. I think we can. It's a little bit of a risk, as I said, but I think that we should be able to do this. So let's declare war. It's an independence war. Oh, I can call in my allies, of course, if I want to. So de let's declare independence war. And let's see if I want to call in Countess Adela. I it cost me 75 prestige. How many troops have you got right now? 716, so it is going to be useful. You know what? Let's just do that. Let's call you to war. And let's raise all armies. My bowmen are full. And I will immediately... Thank you. Thank you for coming. I will immediately march on... Oh, hang on. Let's check the commanders here. I think I'm going to command this myself. That's risky, too. Very, very risky. If I die... Well, but look, hang on, let's pause this now. Um, I only have one regiment of bowmen, so these 300 skirmishers will still be dealing 85% of their damage. Um, but not 100, because they're being countered. But still, you know, they're doing quite a bit of damage. But I am winning this battle handily. So that's good, and uh, I am the aggressive attacker, so they are losing more people than they would normally lose. And I will immediately siege down the barony of Harlem. Hopefully this won't last too long. Hello, army of Kassel. Thank you for, uh, <laughs> for joining. Useless census, oh great. Lower garrison, lower holding taxes for five years. Really? 
My stewards are so bad. My my all my counselors are terrible. Except the marshal and the spy master. But the spy master doesn't like me very much. So this is a bit of a thing. Now I don't know if I still need to find secrets here in Wessex. Maybe I should put my attention elsewhere. Maybe I should find secrets in West Francia. Or maybe not yet. Maybe I still want to find secrets at the Pope's court, really. Oh! While performing her duties as my spy master, Gwenwyn has uncovered a secret held by Earl Athelred of Middle Six. Or Middle Sex, I don't know. He has secretly taken Wolfled, the spy master of Earl Athelred, as a lover. Hmm. Oh, yes, but you have 453 troops. As I said. I would prefer... Well, you're going to deal with them, so maybe I should just go... Well, where can I go, though? There's nothing left. So let's kill these guys. Let's kill you! I think we have a ticking war score here. Pretty sure we do. We now have another battle. We have horsemen! Oh, cool. Huh. That's uh, Kostel, apparently, as horsemen. That's pretty interesting. So, good. Beat them again. I, uh, I think we're done. <laughs> Enforce demands. Impotent, again impotent. So be it. Okay. Whew. I am independent. Independence! Good. 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 So, can I now usurp? Yes! Yes! Okay, how much do I need? 250?! Ouch! Why does that cost so much money? Hmm. <sighs> okay. So let's think about this. Let's think about this. I am now a little independent count in a world full of big fish. I'm just a little small fish. I just want to know. I can't declare wars unless I have a claim on something. And I will not have a claim unless I'm Duke. Hmm. Should I, should I say, hi? I can't swear fealty. He's neither my de jure liege nor a neighboring liege. Oh. What do you mean? He's right here. This is neighboring, according to my book. Huh. Okay. So... I could swear allegiance to King Odakar of East Francia. But I don't believe in him. He does have a, an alliance with Duke Engelshalk. Okay. A heartbreaker here. Hmm... Some truces that are expiring in four years. You know, I really don't think that he has... He's very long-lived. If he gets taken over, though, is it a problem? If Bavaria takes over East Francia and I become... No, it's not a big problem. But I could take the risk and stay independent for now. I don't know if that's smart. Maybe I should just try to conquer Antwerp and then become a neighbor of West Francia that way? Hello. Oh, I can declare war on you! Oh, well that? Oh, because you're a Satru. <laughs> yeah. Probably not the best idea. Because everybody will join you. And they will not join me. Still can't declare you. Oh, again? Oh! <gasps> Excommunication war, but that's not really going to help me, is it? Hmm. You are a Jarl, so that will be a holy war as well. If somebody declares on me while I'm independent, can I then quickly swear fealty? I don't know. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. I don't believe in this king. 
But maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe, maybe I should. Maybe this is the way to get into the Carling house somehow? He's Bavarian. It would protect me for now. I think Bavaria is going to take over and then we're going to become part of the Holy Roman Empire, but then I can become a king. You know what? Let's gamble. Let's gamble. Should we do this? We have just become independent. <laughs> uh, I'll, be happy. I'll need to give you money because I'll be your vassal, but maybe, maybe you, you have some money. Maybe you will give me things. Maybe. Let's... Let's gamble. Let's swear fealty. Good! My liege! So this is now uh, part of East Francia. <laughs> oh dear, what have I done? I think... I just want this Jarldom. I really do. But I need... Um, 250. Maybe my liege can help me take it. Mm, probably not. So what is our next goal? Besides getting to 250, which is... Oh! 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 Hang on. His educator has died, so you're probably back home. You gained one diplomacy, so that's great. <laughs> we need to find you a new educator. Can we, can we look in this court? vassals. Look here. 16. Duke Hadmar of Tyrol. He's uh, obese, but that's okay. Charismatic negotiator. Can I uh, offer you a ward? Hey, look! Who's this? My courtier. Can I... Uh... Yes? Can we do this? I just want him to be very good, you know? I want him to be a good character if he's gonna take over. And he's eight now. And he looks good. Oh, poor wife. I would like to have another child, but I guess... I guess we're going to uh, accept that she's not going to give us another child. Hmm, so what else are we going to do? Oh, hello. Oh! Earl Withraid of Sussex has taken a commoner from Lippa as a lover. Do we really do we really need to know all these things? Hmm. Oh, no. Intrigue. Hooks and secrets. Look at that. Uh, we have so many <laughs> hooks and secrets. Murder. Oh, we have a murder hook. Petty Queen Edgith. That's the Petty Queen is not going to help us, you know. It's just, oh, hello, Rumi. Is it deviant? So what? Unless I can get you into my court somehow. You are a guest. Should we, should we try that? He's a lunatic eunuch, though. Do we really want somebody like this to be in our army? Probably not. Probably not. You're a Oh, look at that 20 intrigue, but we don't need... You're not very good, and you already have a title. See, there's nothing really interesting here for me to... capitalize on. No. Nope. Nothing very interesting, unfortunately. Now let's look at uh, factions. Nothing. Decisions? Mm, no. Okay. I'm still over my domain limit, of course. But that's not going to be helped. It's because I only have six stewardship. Ooh, a stranger is brought before me. He has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my guard informs me. The man bows deeply. My name is Voislav, your highness. I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but my family and I are weary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I will happily share my knowledge of the world with you, and be your loyal servant. You know what? You're not you're not very interesting. But 
But, but, but... You would be a better chancellor. Oh, you're just a pretty girl. And your wife? Nothing interesting. Uh, converts to Catholicism. Okay, you know what? Because I think... Hey, why can't I make him... Why can't I make that boy a chancellor? I am so confused. Isn't he part of the court now? Oh, hello, Rumi. Thank you for uh, walking by again. Please don't uh, sit in front of my screen. Thank you. I thought his whole family would join. Rumi, be careful. I see the little girl, Voislav, and his wife. But not the two other boys. Okay, I was, uh... I've been duped. I just wanted the, uh, the Chancellor. Hmm. Oh, look! They didn't, uh, wait long. The Jarldom of Ogder has taken, uh... This little part of land here. We can only do a holy war. Come on, please, somebody, take this from them. <laughs> I need... Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I really do want Holland, but th this is not going to last long. It's, it, it's not going to stay independent for very long, because he has nothing. So... Maybe... No, I'd rather usurp. That would be easier. But it does cost a lot of money. It does cost a lot of money. Let's see if I want to send my spy master elsewhere. Should we try again to go to the Pope's court? Let's just try it. Find secrets. And I do have another martial lifestyle perk, so... Screen is good. It, it is good for your defense. Naval speed, not useful, but siege weapon effectiveness is useful, of course. But I think Parthian tactics... We do have some skirmishers. Plus, ten, plus 20 percent damage and plus 10 percent toughness and then envelopment men at arms counter efficiency is pretty good so oh here archer damage on hit and run though raid speed I think I'm gonna go for the screen first and get movement speed and screen on the archers and the skirmishers and then get the archer damage before I go up to uh, Parthian tactics so let's go for organized march um, do, 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 do. We are still waiting. We're practically waiting for 250 gold. That's a little annoying. Kind of annoying. I can create the Duchy of Frisia. Oh, he lost that. But that is also 250. And I can usurp this. That's also 250. So neither of this is going to help me much. Um... Expand your realm. Yes, yes, I know. I can attack all these northern people who are then going to band together to fight me, which is not a good idea. Oh, look at that. Spouse aids you in martial studies. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. So, how is uh, how's our king doing? He's doing quite well. Strangely enough. Doesn't really like me much. Should I not um, be your marshal or something? You know? I'm much better than Duchess Hedwig. Much, much better. Am I not uh, a strong, strong vassal? Huh? Oh, I should have a hook on here. I should send my spy master there. Yes, yes, I'll do that. So in two months, we'll see if she finds anything at the Pope's court. But if she doesn't... Then I am going to send her to East Francia. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. Yes, yes, yes. So we'll do that. Uh, let's let's do the uh, the kingdom titles. Yes, but that's de jure. I don't want de jure. Duchy titles. Oof. Oof. Realms. It's fine. But what I really need is uh, for you to find something useful. 
she did find something. Oh, a deviant secret. Again? I thought we already knew this. Or this is somebody else. 17 Diplomacy. Could we get him to be our new chancellor? Let's try. Let's try. Let's blackmail him. For a hook. You're deviant. And let's send you to the new king. Where, where are you? King Odakar. There you go. 10% chance. Oof. Not very good. Alright. So, invite you to court. He will still not accept. Use a hook. Then he will accept. Okay, good. You have arrived at court. Can I now make you my chancellor? I know you don't like me, but you're so much better. There we go. Hey, you should be happy, man. You should be so happy. I blackmailed you, but that's in the past. You now have a very, 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 very good new job. And I think you should, um... You should go for domestic affairs for now. Direct vassal opinion. No. No, because I don't have vassals, so that's useless. Okay. So, we have a new chancellor. I would like to get a steward that way, too. A better steward. That would be so useful. But I don't think that there's anybody here. Vassal. Guest. Yeah, that's that insane adventurer. The Earl of Middlesex or Seeks, I don't know. A courtier. 12 is better than 10, but... Vassal, my own chancellor, and of course he is. Well, let's, we'll not expose him, we don't need to. A guest, oh, very bad. Okay, no. No, nothing useful. But we got somebody, we got somebody. Okay. Okay, now I think we should, um... Pin you. To know what's going on. Oh, mercy for the mercenaries. The bustling of an inn, a fine cider, a calm evening after a long day of training. My tank card is knocked out of my hand by a mercenary reeling from a blow, and all hope of relaxation drains away into the floor along with my cider. Please, my lord, the innkeeper begs. David's thugs have been drinking me dry without paying for days, and their fighting is scaring the staff and guests. The Flemish band, Captain David. Yep, yeah, two knights. I can paint. No, I'm not gonna pay for that. Funny. Let's uh, expunge the bandits. No, no, no. I'm not paying for anything, man. I have no money, so. And I want to usurp the title. And I really need to find a way to make more money. Oh, look at that! I'm losing money because this dude is not my rightful liege. Oh. Oh, look at. Oh, Sweden has taken Holland! Yes. Yes, it, that was to be expected, and I'm pretty sure if I hadn't sworn fealty, I would have been conquered by now, too. Ha! Huh. I will bide my time. It'll be fine. So, Sweden, what are you doing? Hmm? Now, I would have preferred to be here, but this guy was, uh, not close enough. So, Mm, 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 mm. It's getting a little tricky here, but I, I would like this, but I can't declare war. If I were a duke, maybe she would join me, because I'm pretty sure that this is part of... Oh, that's the Duchy of Helda. Hmm. Annoying. Um, yeah, oh, I still believe there's something going on. Yes, find it, find it. What about Zutphen? Same problem. I just need... I just need claims. But all... They ha only have useless... Useless sons. Useless to me. And you, the Duchess of Upper Burgundy... See, I have nothing I can do. Very unfortunate. Holding of Holland gets beneficial deal. Good. Lower building construction costs. But I'm not gonna spend money on... No. Think about it, Luznik. Hi, Remy. I could construct a... No, I can't. A duchy building. I could construct a new normal building. It would take five years to get plus 0.7 taxes, though. Hmm. 
here three years to get plus 0.5. Oh, I would have to do the math on this. So, let me see. I have my phone here. So, I would be losing everything I have, 135 gold, to, in three years, earn 2.9 per month. And then to get to 250, divided by 2.9, would take 86 months. That is... 7.2 years plus 3 years from now is roughly 10 or so years, a little bit longer. Rumi, please don't do this. If I keep going as I am, 2.4, uh, let's see, 250 minus 2. Point, no, 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 250 minus 115 divided by 2.4, I will get it in 56 months, which is 4.6 years. Rumi, no, 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 no. Okay. That's Rumi taking the mouse. She's like, stop this. I don't like math. I hate math. Okay, so it makes more sense to wait for the 250. Even though in the longer term, building that building is better. Hmm. Could have done this off camera, but I figured you might want to see it. I don't know. Let's get the hit and run going. And uh, I do see that we are near the end of this episode. So if you have any tips for me on how to proceed or anything you would like to see, let me know. I'll be thinking about my next steps too, of course. Um, I think I think going for the duchy title is the way to go, and then we'll see what we do from there. But I really, really need to stop being a count, I feel. So uh, that's going to be uh, one of our main, main, main goals. Our son is 10 years old, so not that much longer until he's uh, nice and big. And uh, I'm going to stop this episode now because there's a cat eating my finger. So I'm trying to keep her from playing the game instead of me. She might even be better than I am. I mean, it's, it's, it's actually quite probable that my cat would be better. But let's not talk about that right now. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, hit the like button and please consider subscribing. It helps out immensely. New episodes in this series come out about every other day at 8 p.m. CET. And I will see you next time.